Hi guys, today's video is about uh, Avaya or any telecom architecture, how the call goes from the customer side to the particular agent or the IVR journey. And over here we are talking about the Avaya systems or the component which has been used. If you want to see how I came up with this architecture diagram uh, from this call, uh, call architecture that I have created to this one, there is a uh, there is another separate video we have for that one. Please see the details in the link. Uh, so let's start about it. Uh, so what we see over here is, let's say that this is a customer who want to dial to, uh, let's say, Aosmith, uh, Aosmith Geezer customer care. And let's say he has a complaint like the particular Geezer is not working fine. Okay. Now what it will do is customer will find the phone number and it will dial okay so once user dial the number it goes to first to service provider so if you see over here service provider in india are like uh, bsnl's airtel uh, globally there are like at and is there gamma is there for different regions so they are the different service provider who provides the phone number for particular facilities right so you purchase the phone number with them. It can be toll free number or it can be a normal, uh, uh, what is that, a landline number, which is available, right? So once the customer dial to that, it goes to service provider, service provider look into their exchange directory, right? Okay, where it should go. And then it will come to the, your exchange. So let's say this is for the Aosmith company, contract center setup they have done. Now over here I've shown as a channel, so, Right now we are talking about the phone as a channel. There can be another channels like SMS is there, emails are there, and now even the chat uh, functionalities and the social media channels are also enabled uh, to be uh, assisted by the agent or from the chatbot side. Okay, uh, so that is topic for the another session. So assuming that call has landed over here, so in the PBX it will come. Uh, this is their own. So that uh, I mean, uh, uh, what I want to say is this is uh client or the customer uh how can i put it so the ao smith own uh, contact center solution over here now once the let's say call comes over here it will identify okay this call came is and it has particular journey to be mapped right so assuming if it is a sip or sip call right so there is a sip server is there it can have the few sip clients like record for recording solution and all those things so that can comes over here now once after that it goes to Avaya communication center okay so in AES uh, enable, enablements or uh, services what it happens is first uh, session manager in the session manager from there it goes to the communication manager session manager handles the call communication manager tells the call what to do where to go let's say this call has to route to this particular VDN where the IVR is configured so it will route to the IVR uh, RTP signal, everything goes over here is uh, RTP real time protocol signals. Uh, from AP, uh, AP mostly consider of the media server and the uh, application server. Application server over here we have IVR which is based on Java. So what the IVR application do is it interact uh, with the backend system for any information to collect. And there is a ASR and TTS is there, and also DTMF uh, call flows are also there. So if it is a ASR or TTS, it can be Nuance, it can be a Google, or it can be Lex, any of the platforms which are now supported by Avaya. So let's say the journey goes over here, and it completed, right? So what happens is go again, go back to the communication manager. Uh, we pass the information to through the AAI application to application information. Let's say. The call is not handled by the IVR and uh, uh, it has to go and the customer want to speak to agent, right? So what will happen is it will come over here in the communication manager. Communication manager will see, okay, the IVR journey has completed. It has passed some parameters uh, and that will be go back to the agent. And in the agent side, uh, information which are collected will be passed as from the AI and uh, it will display to the agent side in the screen problems as a solution so this is how the whole journeys goes from start 
to agent there are many other components in between is there are many load balancer servers are also included which i have not covered but this is just to simplify uh, simply explain how the journey start from customer to agent side i uh, hope you like the video uh, do give your comment if you have anything or any queries thank you